masters and a distinguished guest guest i am mohan sundaram you are sadhana tom welcome to the meeting number 629 of the medley toast masters club toast master international is a non profit educational organization founded by dr rolf smedley in 1924 at santa ana california it teaches the public speaking and leadership skills through the world wide network of 16200 clubs and it exists in 145 countries toast master international has helped the people from the diverse background to become a communicators and leaders medley toast masters club was chartered on 3 june 2008 at gandhinagar club at yar i would like to share the mission of the toast masters club we provide the supportive and positive learning experience in which members are empowered to develop their communication and leadership skills and resulting in a greater self confidence and personal growth in every toast masters online meeting we follow this ground rules rule number 1 if you are not a speaker kindly put yourself on mute rule number 2 when you are moving around kindly switch off the videos to avoid the disturbance rule number 3 speakers are requested to refrain from making any reference related to religion politics or sex in the speeches rule number 4 kindly attend every meeting in a formal attire rule number 5 guests are requested to prefix the word guest that is if morgan is the guest he will be guest ipan morgan i wish you all a wonderful meeting now it's time to welcome our club president and presiding officer of the day our club president works for the nissan motors he has been associated with the toastmaster international for white ticket period a proud medlian since 2019 and also catered for the vice president education in the last terms to me i know him we strongly believe in finding a solutions and rather than complaining complaining and we is also believing in the mentorship programs let us put our hands together to welcoming our presiding officer toastmaster raghunath nair thank you so very much uh, uh, toastmaster mohan for that wonderful introduction and a warm welcome uh, with this oh no we have got the golden gavel uh, from the district so let me use the golden gavel to um, open the meeting number 629 uh, i think this is a proud uh, award for the medley so i submit it to all of you today i just got it in my hand so let me with the sound of this gavel uh, golden gavel let me uh, introduce the Uh, meeting open the meeting number six to nine. Uh, yes, Guru, you want to discuss? I think uh, this year in the golden gavel they have printed the name of the club as well. Can you show it in close up for our? First yes, time? yes, yes. No, in the gavel itself, I saw a video, uh, a photo somewhere. They have engraved it in the gavel or what? No, no. Uh, in the handle, in the handle. Yeah, like in the handle, handle it is there. Yeah, it is there in the handle. Ah, great. Uh, Medley's name. Yeah, that's that's proof. Actually, yeah, okay. the, we didn't have it before, yeah. Mm. yeah. So it is here. Yeah. Well great. done. Well yes. done. Yes, great. All right. So proud uh, to be. I uh, think it's it's for you all. Um, so with this, um, there, there's nothing much to say today. We have a very uh, uh, or a very different meeting where we will have a lot of tall tales happening. uh by various members and this is uh conducted by and the whole tmod you will be conducted by our fwsn and very energetic you know the first per, the time when i met him in in medley meeting uh the energy which with which that uh, the it comes it is really a contagious kind of thing the way uh, he whether it is delivery of speech or any role play or even to talk to guests and make them feel be part of the medley a very wonderful gentleman and very energetic uh, let's put our hands together and welcome uh, dtm guru prasad uh, for this wonderful uh, session thank you very much uh, president for those nice words of introducing me i hope it was an honest and real introduction not a tall tale no it it was, it was a very <laughs> honest uh, and uh, not a tall tale <laughs> so that that 
leads me to explain uh, this statement that I I presented to presiding officer. I used a word saying, I hope president presented me with a real sense and not at all tail. For those who are new to Toastmasters or who are new to this kind of an event called Tall Tales, um, let me explain what Tall Tales is all about. I hope you are able to see me in the video as well as in able to hear me clearly. Am I doing good? Okay. So, tall tales, we all have done it in our lives. Sometimes intentionally, sometimes casually, sometimes for fun, without realizing that we are exactly doing a tall tale. So, you, you bunked your class and went to a movie. In my, in my days, I don't know in, in these days what the college kids do. And you bunked your office or you reached home late. Uh, due to some personal uh, parties with your friends and your wife is waiting late or your parents are waiting late. They ask you what happened, why are you late? Or you're, when you bunk your class the next day, your teacher asks you why were you not present yesterday? Then our very common scenario, we were riding without a helmet on the road and our friend, the friend of the public, police catches you or you went through a no entry, they catch you and ask you why did you do this? Whatever you answer you give for all these three situations are called as tall tales. I am sure none of us will give a real reason, a real story for all these situations. We create, we build, we spin something unbelievable and try to get them convinced. Many times they even seem to get convinced except for the policeman. So tall tale, spinning a tall tale itself is an art. And sometimes it's also necessary uh, to keep people from uh, unnecessary controversies and conflicts. It's not always done with bad intention. Sometimes it's done for fun. Sometimes it's done even to avoid certain serious scenarios. You, you, you bluff. Even Thiruvalluvar has said, the truth is nothing but saying something that doesn't hurt anyone. Why may enap padova the adhanin? Adhan rum thimai ilada solal. So, we will take tall tales also part of life and that is why I believe Toastmasters International has identified tall tales as a part of our speaking skills and communication skills. Well, having given this much of introduction, today's meeting has this as a, one of the attractive event called tall tales. Formally, Toastmasters even allows clubs, divisions, areas to conduct tall tales contests and even award or uh, give, give prizes to the winners. However, today we are not exactly doing a contest because that involves a lot of formalities. We are neither doing a, a typical project speeches. So it's kind of a hybrid. I would call it as hybrid. It's going to be some tall tale contest in between some amount of uh, uh, usual uh, analysis of the speech as well. Because in contest, you don't do tag team. You don't have evaluate. Uh, you don't have grammarians, other stuff. So it is going to be a hybrid variety. But the main idea is to entertain you in the form of presenting our lineup of speakers to make sure that you laugh your heart out to see how much they are capable of spinning stories. Before we get into the main event of the day, as usual, uh, there is a team to make sure that even this event and these uh, proceedings in this meeting happens clearly, which is the Toastmasters protocol. As per it, we have a team of watchers, monitors, who are called general evaluation team led by a general evaluator. I would like to hand over to Toastmaster Jagan, who is the general evaluator of the day, and he will explain his duties and introduce his team for the day. Over to you, Jagan. Thank you, Guru. So as a general evaluator, I have a team of three people. Before explaining my roles and responsibilities as a general evaluator, I would like to call the timer, our counter and grammarian. Now, this is how generally a Toastmasters meeting is evaluated. You have a tag, that's called tag team. For benefit of the guest, it is timer, our counter and grammarian. For the timer's role, we have an upcoming Toastmaster who, uh, when I asked him now last time when we had a chat, he said he's from Manarkudi. The first thing that came to my mind, but I did not ask whether he was part of any mafia or not. I did not ask him. Okay, this forum does not allow us to ask him. But he is from TCS. Uh, he works in cybersecurity. Karthigen, please explain your role as timer. 
Yeah, thank you, Jagan. Uh, fellow Toastmaster and I guess, as a timer, I will time of the formal speaker, evaluation of table talk with speeches. I will also allot each speaker of the time they have left using the green, yellow, and the red cards. Prepare speech of five to seven minutes, evaluation speech two to three minutes, TT session one to two minutes. Please pin the timer to screen. I will submit the report end of meeting when I called upon the GE. OTG. Thank you, Karthikeyan. A okay, small clarification for the tall tale contestants. As per the agenda, the timing is three to five minutes. So three green, four minutes it's yellow, and five minutes it's yeah, red. Yeah. Okay. Since we don't have prepared speeches and also evaluations, so the tall tales and the table topics will be timed. Got it. Thank you. Thank you, Karthikeyan. The second role, which is the R counter. Now I remember uh, we had a talk last year when we had personal meetings. He said he's from a place called Gurpur. Gurpur is in the border between Odisha and Andhra Pradesh. And he was, it is also tribal belt. They, he, I think he's somewhere over there. And he has also bought a new house, I believe. This is a new house that he is staying in. And last time I also remember him saying that he sold his car and bought a bicycle and used that bicycle to travel to his office. That's a huge thing. Right? It's something different. Let us invite uh, uh, Raghunath Mishra to explain his role as our counter. Over to you, Raghunath. Thank you, Toastmaster Jagan, for this uh, wonderful introduction. Good afternoon, Toastmasters. Uh, and welcome, guys. Uh, my role as a R counter is to note and keep track of words and sounds used as crutch or pass filters by anyone who speak during the meeting. The uses of inappropriate interjections such as and, well, but, like, you know, are uh, uh, sounds uh, like ah, uh, mm, er. We'll keep a track of these words. And at the end of the meeting, when the general evaluator asks me to give a feedback, I will give the details about these words spoken by the speakers. Over to you, General Evaluator. Thank you, Raghu. So the third role player is, uh, the th third attack player is the grammarian. Now, grammarian, we all know. He's a veteran Toastmaster. He's a scientist who has a uh, doctorate from IITM, IIT Madras, I believe. And he's also a musicologist. Last time, someone asked him which classical composer that he likes. Now, he said, which type of music that you are asking. So Carnatic music, his classical composer is Tyagaraja. Sampath sir, before explaining your role as grammarian, please also mention your favorite musician from the Western classical music. Over to you, DTM Sampath. Good afternoon, friends, who are waiting to be deceived by several people today. Uh, my favorite Western classical, there are four or five, but of course, uh, most of favorite is Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Today, as a grammarian, I shall try to enjoy the speeches. At the same time, try to find something to report as a grammarian in terms of good usages and any scope for improvement. Today, I got a word which I will introduce, which I request the speakers to use as much as possible. The word is fabricate. Fabricate. It's a verb. The meaning relevant to today's program is to invent something false in order to deceive people, to prevaricate. Example, the evidence was fabricated. The noun form is fabrication, false picture, fib, lie, or prevarication. These are all the meanings. An example, fabrication is the art of frauds. Let's have a great meeting. Back to the general evaluator. Thank you, DTM Sampath. Uh, 
as a general evaluator i'll start evaluating from the start of the meeting when the when the meeting started how was the tall tale master prepared how was the tall tale session conducted was it within time how was the table topics was the table topics easier for the guests and a little bit tougher for the toast masters did toast masters start the table topic session so that it could give good amount of practice and uh, for the uh, for the guests to take up the table topics overall at the end of the meeting i will present my report in addition to the tag reports so that let us enjoy a good meeting over to you guru team are you ready for the tale tall tales of the day here you go the tale coming from me from a tallest place <laughs> let me come down come down to reality let's get into our speaker star tales not just mine coming out of a tall location well we are about to start there are some ground rules i would like to explain before we start the tall tale contest this is for the contestants as well as the audience to know point number 1 the timing for the tall tales contest is 3 to 5 minutes with the usual grace time of 30 seconds beyond those 5 minutes so fundamentally a speaker can speak up to 5 minutes and 30 seconds there are no judges like how it is done conventionally in toast master contest today you are all going to be judges including the participants everyone you will be voting like how you vote in a normal toast masters meeting you will all vote however i would like to spend a couple of minutes to tell you give you some guidance on how to understand these features and plan for your voting let me know when you are able to see my screen are you able to see my screen one person can answer okay yes. so this is a typical ballot sheet given by toast masters to all the judges you can make your own mental note you need not use this sheet you need not spend time on filling them but you can just have a glance on how toast masters is advising you to evaluate these speeches you give out of 100 marks you give 30 marks for the speech development how is it opening up how the body happens how they conclude are they giving a smooth transition does it make sense to you second one is specific to tall tales effective use of exaggeration irony fun surprise to humor you can give up to 25 here again they have ranked between what is excellent very good good and fair these are not rules they are guidelines you may make use of them third is physical how good they are in uh, enacting their stories using their body how they are using their body language or gestures to convey their message fourth one is voice flexibility and volume to convey the meaning of or the intent of their message and last one is appropriate it does it have a good i mean all your grammarian or counter rules will indirectly play over here are they using uh, better language are they using the right phrase for the right um, uh, content or context all that will come over here based on this you may rank a speaker up to 100 marks or you may choose your own ranking but i wanted to give this as a guideline i will also be sharing this document uh, because normally in contests we provide some of the division contest area contest and all they provide this print out for the audience to practice judging a speech so it's already attached to the chat box whoever is interested may download this ballot sheet and use the guidelines to make your own judgment and in the end compare how much does your own judgment match with the overall judgment so rule number 3 is the speaker the timer will start the timing the moment a verbal or non verbal communication is started by a speaker so all the speakers have tested their audio video capabilities already the moment i announce their names i'll be calling their name topic topic name then the speaker's window pops up the moment he makes his first ever gesture the timer will start and they will get warning at 3 minutes red 4 minutes amber sorry 3 minutes green 
4 minutes amber and 5 minutes red and red will stay on forever till that speaker decides to end his speech so the timer will not warn about crossing the 30 seconds past his uh, eligible 5 minutes so these are some of the ground rules that have been set and speakers are advised to make best use of these rules and present their best to us make them enter entertain us make us make this evening a very enjoyable one so for the benefit of the audience and every yeah yeah jahan please go ahead sorry to interrupt guru uh, can we see the timer cards alone because kartikeyan was changing the timer cards but it was thank not you. that visible thank you very much so timer will not be sharing his screen shifting his window he will be showing the cards as his background only all the speakers are expected to pin uh, their uh, bag, uh, kartikeyan as the view uh, kartikeyan as the prime speaker in their windows not the audience only for the speakers i i think kartikeyan is now showing green are you able to see it clearly uh, kartikeyan is it possible that you have a plain background somewhere a wall or something i think there are a couple of doors and other stuff which are distracting the green color right yeah i can't do this actually i actually or is there a screen behind you no 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 no, no. On, on your left side on your yeah. left side it is something uh, can you pull it and close it this should become this should be better now you change the color let us see thank you for jagan for noting this jagan can you change your colors now what is the color you are showing right now green ah oh, it's very feeble i can check on now can you change it to red Meanwhile, Chiamori not huh? able to no. pin the timer. Not able to pin the timer, sir. I'm able to pin the timer, sir. I am getting timers. No. Okay. Can you change it to red now, Kartikeyan? No, actually. Yeah. No. Yes, 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 yes. No, 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 no. Do one thing, Kartikeyan. You and your mobile device together. You come forward. You keep a clear distance between your back and your wall. Come further up, further front. Come front. Come front. No, I, I think now good. change it to green, please. Yeah. I change it yellow, please. I think speakers, you are able to see the design on on his right side top corner changing colors. Yes, please, yes. please don't ever change your place, Kartikeyan, because if you go to somewhere, we'll be missing those colors. Yeah, sure, sir. Thank you, thank you very much. Um, so, are there any other uh, clarifications? I think the colors are settled now. Um, I, I would like to unpin. Mm, yeah. So. The. the next point i want to explain is i told you uh, the ballot sheet i have explained how you can use the uh, best of those ballot sheets in, order order in the uh, sorry okay. can others go on mute please can everybody else go on mute please okay um at the end of tall tales i would be calling for votes the voting will not happen at the end of the meeting immediately after the tall tale contest is over i will be calling for your votes the pop the window will pop up and you will get only the eligible speakers list whoever have finished their speech within the available timeline you will get those lists you are expected to finish your voting but the results will be announced by the presiding officer at the end of our meeting now moving on to next point is now i am going to announce the names of all participants you are kindly requested to make a note of it Uh, some of i am seeing the timer permanently pinned to me i don't know why uh, are you able to see my background uh, team yes guru you yes. see me and my background because i am always seeing somebody else not me so yeah. speaker number 1 please note down if you have pen and paper audience you note down you may have to uh, watch uh, and vote accordingly speaker one, number 1 is shankar govindraj speaker speaker number 2 is rangarajan padma vijayam speaker number 3 is venkatesan chokalingam speaker number 4 is sundaresan subramanian speaker number 5 is sunil jose speaker number 6 is priyadarshini bailur speaker number 7 is thomas t abraham speaker number 8 is ragunath nayar 
However, I'll still be announcing their names just before the speaker comes onto the stage to talk, uh, to start their talk. Well, are we ready to start the tall tales event? Sir, I have a question. Yes, please. So during voting, normally we vote for the best speaker. So here, like, uh, to be like ranked for the first one, two, three, or how, how do we do? Thank you very much. We never thought of this. Uh, well, it's a mistake from my side. Actually, you are expected to rank the top three speakers, but um, is it possible to do using your polls? I am not sure. To check on the no, we can do that. It can be done. Sorry, it yes, is possible. Can you take care of it, Saranya? Yeah, sure, sir. Yes, so it is possible uh, to count them. So, audience, Thomas, sir, you're on mute. You were saying something. I was saying one poll only for the first, second poll only for the my second, third poll my candidate for the third. Will sir, no, yeah. otherwise vote? also you will get it sir. for second and third. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Great. We we leave it to Sharanya. If Sharanya is comfortable, we leave it to her. Sharanya will decide how the polling. Uh, Published. Right. Her, how the polling, uh, published. Yeah, I think I'm getting an echo of my. Well, ladies and gentlemen, medians, guess we are ready to move to the first speaker of the day, the first Toastmaster who's going to begin today's event will be. Toastmaster Shankar Govindraj, Shankar calling Shankar, Shankar calling Shankar, Toastmaster Shankar Govindraj, over to you. Okay. <clears throat> My voice audible, uh, group Video. Okay, can I start? I think most of you know my name and my boring routine life. But how many of you know my original avatar? Any guesses, Toastmaster? To give some background, our guesses, I'm the most acclaimed filmmaker in India. All my movies are box office. People call me India's James Cameron. Now, any guesses? Audience? Okay. I am Director Shankar. Two weeks ago, DTM Guru Prasad asked me to deliver the speech in your club. Since DTM Guru is my guru, I agree to deliver the experience, my life experience today. After a gentleman movie of massive success, I become one of the unavoidable celebrities in Bollywood cinema. Almost all the heroes were accompanied me and asking me for your role. It is not only for film industry, including the Medley Toastmaster Club. But all you know that, two people who are inevitable from film industry. The first person is Kamala Kassar. As all of his movies were actual flop, but at the time, he pleaded me to direct a movie for him. Since uh, I didn't have any stuff at the time, I dauntlessly told, no Kamala. But you know, correct, how Kamala behavior is. He pleaded me, he was crying like a child, and stabbed me that Shankar, Shankar, I lost two wife. I think at the time only one wife. I think that is Sariga. I need to take care of two daughters and I don't have deep pockets. That situation was really embarrassing me. So at the night, I was thinking, how can I create a story for him? DTM Thomas Abragan called me at the time for a different purpose. Then something sparked on my mind. We all know that DTM Thomas is so very strict, high on details. Perfect, they expect others to be perfect. I for a detail. Then I was thinking that why don't I create a story for Kamal with resemblance of Thomas Sagaragan? All you know that that movie was Indian. The movie was super duper hit. How Thomas speech went level from club level, division, area, and district level, the same type. That Indian movie, it is not only, it is Tamil Nadu and India, but also went 
worldwide, worldwide. I had given a career break to Kamala Kassan. I think he still carry my photo on his uh, phone. Thankfully, Kamal didn't call me after that. Uh, after a huge response and success of the Indian movie, a well-known person from film industry is kept on coming to my home. Any idea, Toastmaster, who I'm referring it? Okay. It is superstar, Rajini Khan. I straight away rejected the request, but Rajini was super smart. He directly approached with the dear Ekim Guru to favor for him. Since the Guru is my Guru, I accepted his request and was thinking, how can I create a story for him? Since I love the DTM Guru style, love, emotion, humor, spontaneous, and particularly romance. Then I directed a Sivaji movie for Rajini. Uh, Sorry, I must tell you one part. For Sivaji movie, initially I approach our uh, general evaluator, Toastmaster Jagan, to compose the music. But he told me that he is busy on uh, composing the music for medley 600 team meeting. And also, he alluded me that he composed only for national anthem. It was a surprise to me. Anyway, that opportunity went to A.R. Raghuman and uh, he all, he became famous that all of you know that. After, uh, after Sivaji, again, Rajini brought uh, dialect writer uh, Sujata to direct movie for uh, Indiran and 2.0. Now he is keep on calling for 3.0 to direct. I am really annoyed with this call. Finally, I really want to have a normal life. So I hide my identity in the public. The director Shankar, what you see in the media is my body double. So I am revealing this information. I think I don't reveal this information except with my family. Since medley it's my second family, I am revealing my information today. And hopefully you will not share it to anyone. And one very important thing is, please do not ask any role for my next movie. Okay, Sunil? Over to TM Modi. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Toastmaster Shankar. Mm -hmm. I give a one minute gap for all the audience to if you want to rank him or mark him according to the balance sheet given to you please take sorry i would give 30 seconds for you to do some analysis and give some marks so that you can rank him in the end meanwhile i request the next speaker to get ready to join any time that i call the name Am I visible and audible? Hello. Yes. Moving on to speaker number two, Toastmaster Rangarajan Padmavidyam. Summer day, winter night. Summer day, winter night. Toastmaster Rangarajan Padmavidyam. Over to you. Thank you. Thirty years ago, I had applied for a job of a research assistant at the National Institute of Ocean Agriculture. The location, Antarctica. Just yesterday morning, I received a telegram saying that I need to rush to Antarctica to become a research assistant. I was first thrilled and then flabbergasted. And I didn't know whether the National Institute of Ocean Agriculture had fabricated this telegram to send me to Antarctica. But then I read it again, and there was a telephone number. I called them and they said, yes, you have to go. Good afternoon, senior Toastmasters, fellow Toastmasters and guests. I hurriedly packed my bags, not to forget my skiing stick, my skiing shoes, because they were the most important for me, because I wanted to have a lot of fun. At 11 p.m., I boarded the Polar Express from the MGR Central Station. It was pitch dark. And I just went into my cabin, closed the door, and went to sleep. The soft rumbling of the train took me across. I slept like a baby. I should have woken up around 2 o'clock or 3 o'clock. I opened the windows, and what a sight to behold. Whales, sharks, octopuses, you name it. And some of the creatures I had never seen in my life floating just in front of my eyes. 
I was so shocked. I pinched myself. Yes, this was happening. For a moment, for a brief few moments, I enjoyed the scenery and then went back to sleep because I was too tired. I woke up and believe me, it was a sight to behold. I was right in the midst of a colony of penguins, emperor penguins at that. I was taken aback. This was the most fantastic sight that I'd ever seen in my life. My pen friend Shimaru came and took me to my igloo. I went to the igloo and just rested up for some time because the journey was still unbelievable for me. Later on, during the evening, the sun sets very early there because from day after tomorrow, it's going to be winter in Antarctica. And the temperatures were already at minus 40 degrees Celsius. And I was clothed very normally, just as I do in Chennai. And you know the reason why? I had taken the first shot of Kovishi and they said that between minus 40 degrees centigrade to plus 40 degrees centigrade, I'm completely immune. I don't have to worry about any weather change. So that was a big plus for me. I took some rest and as the light settled, the stars were so beautiful and so bright that I could literally pluck them from, from the sky and put it into my igloo for a light. That night, I had a very important meeting with three people, Captain Cook, Ferdinand Megalin, and our own Raja Raja Shodan. I was, they wanted to circumnavigate the world and see who came first. I said, I, I especially told Ferdinand Megalin the dangers of the circumnavigation, but he didn't really listen to me. He said, I have everything figured out. I want to go. And then I went to sleep. Or I thought I went to sleep. There was a loud crack. First, I was shaken up. I didn't know what to do. I rushed outside and saw that my ice bird had carved from the Ross Asian. It was just unbelievable. We were traveling at breakneck speed. Luckily, luckily, I had this chip embedded and I knew how fast we were traveling. We were almost traveling at 2,500 kilometers per hour. Hello, hello, can you hear me? Can you hear me? My internet was failing. But then I realized I had the good old BSNL modem. It kept my, my internet services intact. We were rushing through, we were rushing through, and I didn't know what to do. And suddenly it was bright daylight. And I could see land. I could see land. It was just unbelievable. And as we were getting closer, since it was very fast, I could make the contours of the Chennai lighthouse. Unbelievable. We were here. We were right here. But I was scared. What if it flashes and I didn't survive? It crashed and I was flying. I didn't know how I was flying. And suddenly, out of nowhere, I landed on top of a green tree, right on my terrace. I ran down and banged the door and said, Amma, Amma, please let me in. And here I am giving you the story. I'm sure I'll be telling the story to my great, great, great grandchildren 100 years from today. Over to the Thornton Master. Thank you very much, Chair Tosma Suranga, for your speech. And I give uh, 30 seconds for the audience to just analyze the speech and uh, ma, you know, prepare your uh, marks so that you can do the final analysis in ranking all the speakers. Good, Meanwhile, sorry I to interrupt the silence. Sorry yeah. to interrupt the silence, but the timer is, we are, I, I saw the timer, it was not visible. Uh, Karthigayan, is it possible to move it here and there just in a quick 10 seconds? Could you please show some uh, colors because we were not able to see uh, red. I, I, was, I was particularly not able to see the red. I saw the green and the yellow, but anyway, it doesn't matter. I don't want to complain. Karthikeyan, maybe you can go to some other corner with a plain background somewhere. Or, because you have too many uh, designs in the background. I, I think we can now see. I, I saw for Shankar's yeah, speech. I can I see see. Ah, this is good. This is good. Uh, this white background, I think you'll be able to show us. Otherwise, yeah, can you show the green now? Otherwise, can he pronounce simply five minutes, four minutes? 
Yeah, uh, green, green is okay. Green, green is okay. Amber? Yeah, and the red, please. You sit there and don't move. Yeah, this is good. I hope all the other contestants are able to see this. Yeah, but could he move a little more to his left? No, 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 no. More of that colored area. Karthikan, we want to see more of your colored area. No, we are seeing plain white. The other way, to his right. Or, or can you create some these three colors in your mobile and keep showing like this? If you have a Torchlight app or something, I think it allows you to create red, green, amber in the app itself. You can just raise, raise your hands and show them. Or if you have these three colors available in the form of a plate or a fan or something at home. But during the test period, it was okay. I don't know why it's not working now. Meanwhile, I think he can show the windows. Uh... Uh, yeah, you can just show the window. Yeah, further, further, further. Ah, yes, go, go, yes, go, go, yes. Go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stay yes. there, don't move at all. Don't breathe, yeah. Well, I hope audience had their own nice time uh, to analyze and give some marks so that it will be easy for them to give the ranking in the end. We are moving on to the next speaker. I request the next speaker. Venk Toastmaster Venkatesan Chokalingam, Election Day. Election day, Toastmaster Venkatesan Chokalingam, or tea. Venkatesan, you are on mute. We are not able to hear you at all. Exactly, at 8 a.m. on 6th April 2021, as I was waiting in a long queue to cast my vote for the 16th Legislative Assembly election, at government school in Pallavaram. A nice gentleman with the spectacles who was standing began me to cast his vote. He was six feet tall, was fair complexion. Good afternoon, contest chair, toastmaster and distinguished guest. The person standing next to me without introducing himself, he asked me, what is your name? What are you doing? As you all know me, I am a person who is too talkative in any places, whether it is wedding hall or any public places, inclusive of Medley Toastmasters Club. I am fanatic about my profession. I started telling them I am Venkatesan, qualified trademark agent, working as a domain expert in a leading IP Bautic. I was sharing my technical knowledge rather than my domain knowledge to him. Without no without my knowing anything about them. In fact, further clarify, do you know Mozilla Foundation? Arbitration cases I myself represented and won the cases in their favor. In 2010, I have visited a Microsoft Award through net for india I have hosted more than 1,000 websites. And and I am currently active member in ICANN from an Indian counterpart as well as Internet Society. The person standing next to me till then never opened his mouth. Listening calmly and attentively. Then I was asking about him. He introduced himself. Mr. Sundar Pichai. At that time, butterflies were in my stomach. He was discussing about IPR matters and developing. And he insisted rather we should teach the rural Indians to make the digital payment activity. Finally, 
he gave a visiting card and he told me that my personal number and email id is there if you are ready to work with google as a domain expert you can approach me you can reach me at any time but you may travel all over the world since google has registered all the country top level domains and gtlds general top level domains all over the world more than 1 lakh domains this was the most unforgettable day in my life thank you contest chair thank you very much toastmaster vikteson let us give 30 seconds for uh, our audience uh, to analyze the, the speech by vikteson create marks for him for their final analysis Meanwhile, I request the next speaker to be ready. <clears throat> Maybe even come into the video. Hello. Yeah. My yeah. testing. My testing. Well, in the meanwhile, I see the number of audience have also grown slightly. New people have joined. Just for your information, ladies and gentlemen, the counter <clears throat> is already on. So please sit back, relax, and enjoy. i request you to stay here till the end of the meeting and not drop off in between here and there people have taken a lot of effort to create these meetings it will be your mark of respect if you could stay till the end of the meeting and not vanish all of a sudden in between thank you very much introducing the next speaker speaker number 4 toast master sundaresan subramanian different roles and reels different roles and reels toast master sundare sundare san subramanian over to you sir you cannot play any roles in your life other than toast master i got infuriated from my wife's comment i took it as a challenge i will do several roles within 24 hours why not let me try first i listed all the roles what else i can do chef barber singer tourist guide actor journalist school teacher pilot contest judge also well let me start let me take the first one chef because i don't know anything in kitchen i took that option chef and i saw the video of a nice dish called laddu i wanted to make laddu because i love laddu but the more sugar i put the more asafoetida i added it ended with a toothpaste type still my son was generous he said i will taste it father so i gave him he took it one gulp and he started talking with me in gestures and i said what happened he took the mobile and gave me whatsapp what you added i could not open my mouth standing in front he gave this message i understood this is not my fault my wife is right seems to be but my inside inner voice said never give up move ahead and try some other role i decided to quit that particular role of chef and i selected the second one in my list barber well i don't have much experience but this is a toolkit which i tried this is the proof so i went to nearby shop of my friend i said i want to become i want to do something so he should look at the video and try unfortunately or fortunately the local wrestler came and sat on the chair so i started viewing the video and i did half way very nicely but power cut battery loss in the mobile i don't know what to do my friend also left the shop then my inner voice said come on sundar you have lot of creativity why don't you try some designs so going ahead i tried all my column and rangoli design on that wrestler's head half way well i showed the mirror he was so infuriated his face became red and he tried to get up from the chair he could not because he was already a, like a sumo wrestler stuck in the chair so i decided this is not my role 
slowly i moved out of that shop and i decided not to play this barber role again let me take the uh, next one singer i loved music from my childhood yet but singing is totally different when i asked my friend i want to become a singer he said there are good singers bad singers worse singers sundar you are coming in the fourth category but let me give you one chance also i went on stage and before singing as a friendly look i gave i saw that drummer and guitarist guitarist came and told me i'll break the guitar if you don't sing properly well the first threatening the second smile at the drummer he showed the drumstick yes the vegetable i know what will the treatment i will have after the music so somehow i managed and you you know always you will have a good samaritan friend during the program when ambulance came i thought some chaos there and straight they came on stage and they said something wrong with you gentlemen yes then i looked at my friend i know he is the culprit i said what you did no sundar i thought you are not uh, well so i when you are singing so i called the ambulance so friends only will do all these things believe me so i decided this role is not for me singer role then i moved to tourist guide from childhood i love history you know so i went to the nearest fort i said i am a volunteer tour guide when i said 300 years old fort there was one gentleman looking similar to my friend sampath sorivar he said no this is not 300 years this is 286 years and 11 months only i found i cannot survive as a tourist guide with this type of tourists and when i said four wives for the king he said no 40 wives for the king that moment i decided i'll quit this role tourist guide also and i was planning i could hear come on cooking is over all the kitchen utens- utensils are ready for you this is my wife how can she can call me during this decision making role playing i said today i'll start world war with her what to do today today 19th june come on today is my wedding anniversary for a change let me take a new role called an obedient husband it's a rare thing you know for a change i want to take an obedient husband i took it and said to her politely your wish madam is my command and i ran to kitchen with to see my utensils here thank you over to contest chair thank you very much those master sundarajan for his speech i will give 30 seconds time for the audience to think about this and lies and give their marks for final ranking meanwhile i request the other speaker to gear up open his video and be ready Going on to the next speaker. Next speaker is Toastmaster Sunil Jovas Kutumam Parambil. 1982, a love story. 1982, a love story. Toastmaster Sunil Jovas Kutumam Parambil. Over to you. Uh, Dr. Master, can I check the audio and video? Am I audible? Am I yes. audible? Yes, yes. Okay, and I'm I'm visible also, right? Yes. 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 Okay. All right. So back in the days in my eighth grade, I was the same guy as I am today. Good looking, brilliant, smart. A lot of girls had crush on me, but of all these girls. i had one girl caught my eyes and that was archana and actually this is not her original name i can't reveal the name total master fellow toast masters and my dear guest we were in deep love 
but I was very scared to tell this to my parents. Time passed by, we were in the final month of uh, eighth grade. So one day I was uh, idling my time in my house with Gauri, and Gauri is my pet eagle. So we were, I was in my house, my house was in Toronto, I tell you about the house. So it's actually a palace. You would have seen Chetnado Palace and all, no? Something like that. It was actually gifted by royal family of Travancore to my grandfather, because my grandfather was an English teacher for the royal family members. So while I was idling my time, suddenly I saw our guards, our guards on horse, wielding AK-7 rifles. You will be thinking AK-47 was later. Actually, the first version was AK-7, and we had it. So they were escorting a visitor to our house. So the visitor reached our house, and he got out of the car in the ambassador, in, in, in ambassador car. Oh my God, it was Archana's father. I was dumbstruck. My father came, invited him inside, and they started talking. After some time, Archana's father revealed the, the secret of his visit. Look, I have come with a proposal. I want your boy to marry my girl. They are in deep love. Maybe you can wait until the college finish. But I don't want to lose this brilliant and good-looking guy. My father unfortunately refused. So this time, Archana's father went out. He brought some boxes. His servants took some boxes and some around 10 boxes. He opened it and showed to my father. See, these are all gold. These are just a gift for you and your son. My father got furious. You're trying to bribe me? He took Archana's father. You know who am I? Who am I? He took Archana's father inside a secret room in our house, which was not open for some time. He showed, you know what is this? These are lockers. These are full of gold. And you are, these are all gifted by my father, by the royal uh, traveling good kings to my father. And you are trying to bribe me with gold? He said sarcastically. So this time, Arjuna's father got angry because his ego was hurt. He shouted at my father, I will, I will ensure that you will not enjoy this gold. And he stormed out of the house. So gradually, the time, uh, gradually we forgot this incident. And me and Archana parted our ways. After some years, Kerala government officials reached our home. And they served a notice to us. And they said, see, we got a complaint that you're hiding gold in your house without permission. And see, this is not allowed. So we told, we tried to convince them, this is uh, with permission. These are all gifted to my grandfather by the uh, Ravangu king. And they were not believing us. So as a compromise, what we did, they took the gold and they, without charging a case, they put all this gold in a guest house of Travancore uh, royal family inside the Padmanabha Swami temple. My dear friends, whenever this news comes to the TV, they say this belongs to royal family. And this belongs to Padmanabha Swami temple. And my father sobbed uncontrollably every time. Now, all of you will be wondering what happened to Archana, right? Archana became a big dancer. She started a dance school in, in uh, Chennai. And he even uh, acted in many movies, Malayalam, Telugu, Kannada, and won national award for two movies. But I was so sad because of all this happening, I'm still sad. Because she has decided not to marry because she lost me in school. Over to you. Thank you very much, uh, Postmaster Sunil Joseph, for your speech. Now it's over to the audience. 30 seconds for you to mark your, I mean, calculate your marks. We consider the final ranking. We'll wait for 30 seconds. Meanwhile, I request the next speaker to be ready. Am I audible? And yes, you are audible, and you are also visible. Speak. 
Moving on to the next speaker of the day. This contestant, Toastmaster Priya Darshini Bailu. Is this real? Three exclamatory marks. Is this real? Three exclamatory marks. Toastmaster Priya Darshini Bailu. Over to you. On my way back home, I saw a kid with a signboard. I am blind. Please help. Oh, I wanted to offer something. So I went close to the child and I looked into his eyes. Oh, I felt hypnotized. It was a dark room. It looked like a tunnel. I was traveling in a supersonic speed. Whoosh, the water splashed and I was thrown into a different world. Is this real? I asked myself. There I saw a blue house and there were a few family members standing to welcome me. That face looked familiar. <gasps> Xi Jinping, president of China, was standing to welcome me. Oh, sir, what brings in you here? How are you doing? There was no response. I tried all the sign language. There was still silence. Out of frustration, I cried, Devare yan dada malpuni. Now he responds, Oh, dala malpochi yan chandru. <gasps> Xi Jinping speaks my native language, Tulu. Oh, I mean, Chandru. Chandru, please tell me where am I? Chandru handed me iPhone 20 and it said, you are in Europa, one of Jupiter's moons. Jupiter has 79 moons and I am in Europa. <laughs> Come on. Last week, Toastmaster Jagan and Amita were crying. They cannot even go to their neighbor's house. Look at me, I am in moon. Chandru, can you please take me around this place? Instantly, Chandru called his driver and my ride was ready. Holy cow! Yes, it was a cow which had wings and angelic rings. I jumped and I sat on her. Her name was Bindu. She told me that. Hey, she took me for a smooth ride and I got a good break. Unlike this auto wala's back breaking ride. Oh, I saw the moons were shining so brightly. Kids were playing Ringa Ringa Roses. Kids, social distancing, social distancing. I panicked. Oh, Bindu reminded me, cool, you are in a safe world. Thank God. Bindu stopped near a paddy field and she made me walk. I started feeling hungry walking for miles. There I saw a cake house. Mm. Knock, knock. Sweet little auntie opened the door and she offered me cupcakes and ice creams. Auntie said, eat your heart full, eat your stomach full, then I will eat you full. <gasps> Sweet auntie became naughty auntie. Auntie, why do you want to eat me? Auntie complained, I hate people from earth. They cut the forest and beg for oxygen. They create cars and release carbon dioxide. They are mantris. They play kutan trees. I want to eat all of them. She roared and there started heavy rainstorm. My whole place, my neighborhood started to flood. I had to run for my life. I ran, I ran. I asked my GPS, please show my final destination. It said, second left, first right, your place. Finally, I could see my blue house again. I heard a sharp noise very close to my ears. I looked to my left. <gasps> that was a satellite which was getting ready to be launched in Jupiter. Wow, it carried my country's flag, my India flag. Oh, I started missing my house. I wanted to go back home. Immediately, I felt I was again traveling in this tunnel in a supersonic speed. Whoosh! I'm there again in front of the child. I grabbed this signboard and I wrote, today is a beautiful day, but I cannot see. And I handed it over to him. Now everyone started helping him with food, shelter. Oh, he became a very happy, healthy child now. With this thrilling experience and over excitement, I actually forgot which way was my house. I asked the stranger, Sir, can you please uh, help me with this address? The stranger looked and said, Oh, you look very familiar. Your voice is so familiar. Are you from that scam call center? Huh? Sir, no. 
can you please help me with this address now oh cool this place just take second left first right there you go i happily walked away from there wait did he say second left and first right toast master of the day is this real now thank you very much toast master priya for your speech and uh, let us give 30 seconds for the audience to mark uh, prepare your marks for your speech that will be used for the final ranking meanwhile i request the next speaker to be <clears throat> ready and present himself via the video The next speaker of today's event is Toastmaster Thomas T Abraham an Indian saves the world an Indian saves the world Toastmaster Thomas T Abraham or to you sir uh, I want to uh, one second please timer I want to pin the timer yes sir I'm not able to pin the timer I can only have the option called chat let me try ah uh, okay okay i got it i got it all right so i will begin i knew i had to restart my research that i had given up some time back trouble was brewing four weeks of hard work another th four weeks in a secret location and my chrome gun was ready I demonstrated that at proudly to the PM, and he was mighty pleased. Then, good afternoon, all your virus vulnerables. I want to tell you that that's when UN announced their virology conference for five days. This was the first major event after UN was given the extra powers over its people with the new constitution. UN would conduct all meetings, international meetings, by themselves. complete responsibility including security the indian team had the minister and 10 virologist plus myself this 1000 delegate plus virology conference will be conducted in dragonlands capital of raiking in the brand new recently inaugurated underground city center called ground minus 1 ground minus 1 is a dreamland it's a thousand acres plus of continuous land under the ground under zeeping and you have streams huge streams flowing all over separated by glass walls you have private and public transport all driverless and the convention center friends blew our minds away so high tech so modern modern and you had the un security crawling all over things started off well talk work precision and one interesting thing food apart from food for all the continents they had pellet food one minutes test all your body requirements the medicines the chemicals the nutrients the vitamins will come as pellets swallow them water no hiccups no burping all sounds are muted you are safe on the fifth day was my presentation afternoon so i retired to my room for a rehearsal so i had my gas mask on and my gloves on i wanted to try out once again my chrome gun oh i didn't tell you chrome gun brings together technologies as diverse as laser x ray and thermal imaging what it does is it shows up the viruses as fluorescence so you can detect them so dr ashok came in so i was ready he said thomas did you see the box on your table i saw the size of 
maybe a shoe box, a very nicely wrapped box. It's a gift for every every delegate. It seems Ashok said. I opened it. Oh, what a lovely fluorescent golden dragon! Not fluorescent, but shining. I put it away and and I switched on my gun, my chrome gun. Suddenly, I saw my left hand was covered in that or in that eerie yellow fluorescence virus. I put, picked up that dragon again, tried again. Sure enough, virus. I informed the 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 the, the higher authorities, and we ran. And I made a presentation in front of the entire world media. I showed them three vials of known viruses, and sure enough, they shown. Then I showed them the same uh, that golden dragon. Sure enough, that same eerie yellow. Then, to a disbelieving world, I said, "Delegates, each of you have been given this." laced with some deadly virus imagine we would all have been home in the next next 48 hours and fully infested and at the mercy of these guys just then the rooms were sealed by un and they had the premier under arrest and the world screamed indian saves the world from virus they screamed i simply beamed Thank you very much, uh, Toastmaster Thomas, for your speech. Let us give 30 seconds for the audience to calculate, analyze the speech and give their marks while I request the other speaker to be ready. Room, my voice is clear. Yeah, your voice is clear, your video is clear. Perfect. Let us move to the last content of the tall, tall, tall Tales event. Last contestant is Toastmaster Raghunath Nair Chatwar Vithil. My pregnation with human immunodeficiency virus. My pregnation with human immunodeficiency virus. Toastmaster Raghunath Nair Chatwar Vithil. Over to you, sir. Lazing around the midday newspaper office at Tardil, after the office hours when working in Ad Factors as a media agency, has been one of the key pastimes at Mumbai, especially relishing on the pav bhaji and vada pav from the shop down. You know the reason why? Because it was so famous, the pav bhaji and vada pav shop, that all the cinema guys like Amitabh Bachchan, Sanjay Dutt, and all, I've seen most of the guys having uh, the Pav Bhaji in that place. And as usual, the Saturday being a holiday, it used to be always at the midday or newspaper office. And Philip, one of the senior correspondents and me was having a detailed chat on how the interview of the police commissioner, Sadish, uh, Sahane, related to that Chota Rajan's involvement in the riots, a fabulous story, like it was such a speech or such a story that he was narrating in actuals of the gunshots and all those things. I was eagerly listening to him. And suddenly, Mundambai comes down from the behind and tells me that this uh, Senior correspondent or senior reporter has, is calling you. Suddenly I look back. What? Who is that senior reporter? You know the Juhi Chawla? Oh, okay. I was rushing to her desk and she hands over the address in the other of Dr. Gilada, the Indian Health Organization, to write an article about the marriage bureau, which is specially open specifically for the HIV positive patients. It is in 94, they were, they were close to almost 2 lakh of HIV positive registered cases in Mumbai alone. 
not talking about the outskirts of Mumbai like Thane. Once a patient is tested positive for HIV, or she can, or he or she can live for more, over 25 years, but the inhibition in the family was so high that they were thrown out of the houses, and I could see that. And for that, the Indian Health Association started a marriage bureau, especially for the HIV positive, where they counsel them to live together, but not to have kids as the chances of kids getting HIV positive was less than 10 percentage, but for sure, they will be 100 percentage of it. So it's just coming out, oh, what a wonderful uh, thing that I've got. I was rushing to that uh, meeting room. By the time I reached there, I was so thirsty because it was mid-summer and it was about to, uh, like, drenched in thirst. So then I asked one of the guys, can I have a bottle of water? He showed to the uh, thing, oh, suddenly, who is this? Uh, it's an international call. Uh, thing. Let me just. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Yes. Yeah, this is Raguna. Oh, Ted Kaufman. Who? Oh, from John Britton's office. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I was working with James Bunn and Thomas Mentor. Yeah, on the global program of AIDS yeah, at the WHO in Geneva. Yes, yes. How did you get my number? Oh, okay. From Thomas Mentor. Yeah, fine. Fine. Tell me. Oh, really? Joe wanted me to address the Congress on the 33rd years of World AIDS Day. Yeah, yeah. Yes, we were talking about it. Yeah, yes, I had spoken to Dr. Jamandar. Okay. Yeah. First December, yes, this, that's, this is, this year it is on Wednesday. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. I have shared that same session last year in UN Council. Sure. We'll speak to you. Understood. Yeah. I'll have a review with Dr. Jamandar. Sure. Yeah, but Kids has already planned for some surprise session for my birthday. Let me check. Sure, let me come back to you. I'll call you anyway. You know, all these, uh, from that particular day, uh, when I met so many of those HIV patients, and from that day onwards, a lot of articles are, that I've written in midday about the HIV has made the IH, the World Health Organization to announce the International HIV Day on my birthday. And after that, I'm like, every year I get so much of these calls. And this year, oh my, I think I need to really think whether I need to prioritize the kids' surprise party or the speech at the conference in UN. Over to you. Thank you very much, sir. Toastmaster Raghunath. That brings us to the end of the tall tale event. I will give one minute time for all of you to analyze all the speakers, speeches, the marks you have given and come to a decision on who, who stands as the first ranking speaker, second ranking speaker and third. You will be selecting three speakers out of this as first, first, first rank, second rank and third rank after a gap of 60 seconds. Uh, I hope, Sharanya, uh, will you be ready to pop up the voting window? Yes, I'm ready. So I, I, let us give them some time. Uh, however, uh, I have to apologize that we are running a bit late because of uh, those experiments uh, we did on the timer device, which could have been done earlier. I, I apologize for my overlook on that aspect. So kindly bear with me and we may, I may have to eat up some of uh, the current time to manage the overall meeting time. In the meantime, I request timer to communicate to Sharanya, the qualified speakers. You need not announce now. You can communicate to Sharanya and the qualified speakers. Or if there are any disqualifications, that alone you can communicate to Sharanya.
if audience are ready by now saranya if you got the information maybe you can open the pop up window for your voting so for all those enjoyment you had audience now is the time to give it back to those participants your feedback in the form of rags let us wait for the polling window to open up a uh, guru oh, i have a doubt that the contestants are also voting or uh... sorry the contestants are also voting yes yes everyone in the, the, the voting alone takes the format of usual uh, medley meeting okay okay usual toast. okay so i hope you understand the screen uh, you get three times of all the eight speakers you can vote accordingly Sharanya, please let us know once everyone has voted. Uh, sir. Uh, yeah. Uh, I am a guest for today. My yeah. name is Vijay Lakshmi. Yeah. I have participated also in a couple of uh, last week's uh, uh, meeting. Okay. Uh, I know you are running uh, a bit late, but if you would allow, I would want to try a, a two-minute toll tape. Is it okay? No, this has a registration. We conducted this after two weeks of registration, and uh, we had so sessions. Maybe in 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 a, in a table topics, we may be able to cover you. This is only based on registration. Oh, so. I got you. thank you there's a planned event with the people registering themselves two weeks ahead taranya may we know the status please send a message in whatsapp sorry i I'll, get... i'll send you a message of the video. okay thank you once all have voted let me know because let us proceed with the next further events Sharani, you can announce the uh, give the these details of winners later. Just wanted to confirm want to whether the voting is over or not. It's over, Sharani. That's only yeah, information. Voting is done. Okay. Voting is done. Thank you very much, Sharani. So, the Toastmasters guests and audience, let us give a big hand to all the participants for the fantastic way they delivered their reels in the form of tall tales. I hope by now you understood what is tall tales is all about. and how crazy people can think did you notice that none of these eight speeches there were no redundant speeches or duplicates at all eight people thought eight different ways of cheating all of us in start it can be the jhoi chawla of ragu either it be uh, sundar pichai for vegetation and some scientist in antarctica uh, for ranga and a shob sorry archana for sunil jos all were totally imaginary sorry sunil i let your secret out i hope you definitely enjoyed as a part of this normally in our uh, project speeches or during normal medley meetings we'll take some time to introduce the speaker and give a bit of introduction about himself and a few words related to theme other stuff 
in contest we don't do that because we don't want to want that message to carry a bias towards voting that is why speakers were not introduced however there was a plan to introduce them after the tall tale contest is over with a one minute intro one some 30 seconds introduction considering now that we have uh, we are way beyond in our timeline i kindly request all the speakers to excuse me because you are all well now we can, i can talk high about you are all well known to medlians you none of you are new there is no need to reintroduce yourselves maybe you would have had some fun activity for a couple of seconds i apologize and excuse all of you that i am going to skip the introduction of speakers now we move on to another style of getting ready and talking to people now you saw how people can create spin their own stories on various situations how about making it making those stories happen instantly you don't even time to plan you don't even time to think build a story you are in a situation you are at a question immediately you have to tell a real story or at all day welcome to the table topic sessions to be conducted by our very own toshmas dinakaran i checked with toshmas dinakaran about his experience of tall tales in life our friend is a very sincere honest and straight forward person he said he never had any opportunity to spin any stories to anyone he was always straight forward we are proud of having you dinakaran over to you for the table topic session thank you otmuri guru uh, hope you are able to hear me Good yes. evening, Toastmasters and guests. I uh, hope we have all enjoyed the uh, refreshing talk today session. We are getting into another exciting session of our today. Uh, it's table topics. I think we all know that table topics allows us to think on our feet and then uh, share our thoughts in the form of a speech. Uh, for today's session, uh, we I have two format. One is that uh, you can look at um, you will have an image and then you can look at it and relate to yourself and your life and share your uh, experience. another is the form of a question which is something that you can answer for uh, the timing is uh, like 1 to 2 minutes uh, you will have a green light from the timer for 1 minute and 1 and a half minutes it's uh, amber and uh, you will have a red sign for 2 minutes and i will also encourage to use the word of the day for uh, this speech session which is uh, fabric yeah please feel free to use the word of the day we'll all get into the session for today we'll start with uh, toastmaster ramprasad post pastor ram prasad for you I hope you are able to see my screen all of you okay post pastor ram prasad uh, this is for you how, what how would you relate to or what is your best experience or memory with this image post pastor ram prasad sorry to intervene dinakaran can you make it as a presentation because we are getting the clues of all your other questions <laughs> okay now you are successfully yeah uh, press f5 please press f5 f5 oh this is actually mac so oh i think uh, yeah. <laughs> no problem the question paper is already leaked <laughs> all right okay yes. i mm -hmm. i might be switching back and forth sorry yeah uh, okay then all right let's go on uh, toast mr ram prasad please Can you call the next person, please, Dilakar? Okay. Mm -hmm. We'll start with uh, Toastmaster Saravanan. Toastmaster Saravanan, you are there. Yeah, I am here. Okay. Can you yeah. hear me? Yeah. So you can think through for thirty seconds. You are, are you okay with this uh, image, uh, Saravanan? Yeah, I am okay. Okay, please go. So this is a tape recorder, as well as a tape, which I fondly remember from my childhood days of onwards. When I was in uh, sixth standard, I remember my father brought a tape recorder at that time i became very famous because all the uh, movies that were coming up at that point of time as well as all the uh, songs that were coming at, up at that point of time many came to my house yeah. to record this there are, there are beautiful things in this okay so the inside this you can see some small tapes out there and if it got stuck what we do normally is we uh, take a pencil and then rotate it so that i mean you can come to the first or at wherever you want to have that and then you can see something called as tdk out there so that is the uh, that is the company name i guess but right now if i have to compare both 
that is called as technology development kit in the re recent days okay so if i have to relate both uh, past as well as the present i can easily relate to that because i am from that generation which is of very good generation where we can see what was in the past and what is in the current one and we can always relate to that because past is always a bridge for the future and i can relate to that and then there are two holes out there you can see these are like eyes through which you can see the world because why i am talking like this is it's not because of tall contest day as such but this is what is coming to mind at this point of time at the top you can see a a always stands for the first one so please be always in the first and then you have the frames out there with all the four screws out there so what you have to do here is life is like a frame you have to have your fixed screws at all the places so that your life will always be standing steady out there so this is a beautiful one and black is always beautiful and you have to understand that there is always a difference between black and white but you should not take that as uh, uh, this one because yesterday was june 10th okay which was very famous for slavery and all so you have to always remember about that i can remember a lot of stuffs out there but time will go out so i cannot see the timer but i can say that uh, this is a very good topic thanks for giving this topic over to the toastmaster uh, table topic master dinakaran thank you toastmaster sir and i didn't i never imagined that um, you would uh, come up with a speech like with all these uh, letters or format that you see in the image thank you uh, yeah. toastmaster dinakaran sorry to interrupt in one small suggestion you can click the participants button in the bottom so you will get the list of all currently available participants so you can cross check whether the next person in your list is available or not okay i am not able to do that let me check yeah. i see that uh, toastmaster aspin is available aspin for you Oh yes, the record available. Hope I'm yeah. audible too. Yeah, yeah. yeah, this is for you, Toastmaster Aspin. Right. Yes. How would you relate this image to with your yeah words? Good. Thanks a lot. Thank you for uh, making us recollect uh, old memories and uh, nostalgic moments. and uh, floppy drive is uh, earlier it used to be a, a great uh, memory device and uh, somebody possessing a floppy drive we used to think like they are, they are supposed to be a like kind of intellectual people initially when it came and uh, for me any memory device uh, it, it reflects our life the way that that you carry forward our lives the way we had lived our lives in fact uh, as many of you should be knowing one uh, Uh, steve jobs said you can always connect your life you can always connect the dots from behind a lot of times various things happens in our life at that juncture uh, especially some certain challenges which happens at that that juncture we feel why things are so challenging or why it could have happened something different or we might have expected something better but things could have been quite challenging at, the, at those different junctures when we turn back and see and it connects beautifully to our life wherever we are the connect is very very beautiful and we most of the times we will be extremely grateful for what happened in our lives and um, just to conclude i would i would just like to uh, quote one of uh, my favorite quotes uh, from robert frost uh, who speaks about life he says uh, i can sum up the entire life uh, in three words and he concludes by saying it goes on by robert frost thank you and over to you uh, derek thank you toastmaster as well the next speaker is Toastmaster Adisai. Toastmaster Adisai, what that? Yeah, I'm here. Can everyone else go on mute, please? Uh, Toastmaster Adisai, you are lockdown experience, please. Can you summarize your lockdown experience, Toastmaster Adisai? When the lockdowns were announced last year in May, my first thought was, "Oh shit, I'm stuck," and this happened uh, the uh, as soon as the announcement came in the, uh, it was the two of us living in a small apartment in chennai and we were hoping that this thing would last a couple of weeks and then it would go away so what started in may 
uh, the first announcement for the lockdown was for a month. So we were hearing that by 30th June, the lockdowns would be open. And we were like, okay, 30th June, our internship would end. And then we'll be going back home, spending time with family and then coming back to Chennai to join. But that did not happen. The lockdowns went on and on, June, July, August. And that was when I finally got a chance to get back home. And even then the lockdowns did not end. So it has been more than a year and we're still in lockdown even until right now. My experience has been transformative to say the least. Things that I used to think could not happen, work that I used to think could not happen without going out of the house. Now we are used to doing all of it, sitting inside our houses on our sofas with our laptops in hand. All office work these days happens inside the house. You don't need to step out. You don't need to do anything. Uh, ordering food, um, ordering groceries, even, even ordering AC repairs, it all happens from your phone. You don't have to go out and look, look at different shops. You don't have to go out in the, in the sun trying to find the vendor, trying to go to different shops to call them to your house. You just ring them up and then they come to your house with masks and, every, uh, masks and gloves and stuff. And then they fix your, fix your things. So yeah, the lockdown has been transformative. It has brought a great change in my perspective of how things work and it has opened, opened my eyes to a lot of possibilities that I th did not think existed before. Thank you. Back to you, TD Master. Thank you, Toastmaster Adisai. You have summarized well on the uh, new uh, lifestyle that has been offered for us part of this lockdown. Thank you. We'll move on to the next speaker. Yeah, one of the guests wanted to talk about uh, the presenter talent. I think it's uh, uh, just Vijay Seshu. I think. Are you available? Uh, yes, Toast. Yeah, yeah, this is your opportunity to present your talk. Yeah, please go ahead. Thank you. Uh, my day at uh, Davos. Uh, recently, actually, in January 2021, I was invited for, uh, as an invitee for this World Economic Forum at Davos, Switzerland. You know, being in uh, Chennai from my childhood, I was uh, wondering whether I can, I was surprised that I was able to withstand the temperature with a normal sari and a decent chapel. Uh, and, you know, I also, I was thinking I should not miss this opportunity to, you know, attend this Davos. Fortunately, one of my friends from Switzerland sent me a, a private jet. From, from my terrace, I could just uh, take off to Davos. This was the second time after December 2015 floods, we were, got an opportunity to fly from the terrace. So, you know, there were many go, you know, uh, celebrities and uh, top leaders in the forum. Uh, I got a chance to have a cup of uh, chai with uh, Geeta Gopinath, Joe Biden, Sundar Pichai. Angela Merkel, all that. Uh, it was nice evening that, uh, you know, I was curious to ask a few questions to Joe Biden. And uh, he was asking me, how do you manage to have this tea without sugar? Then I said, when I can drink the tea made by my husband, this is not a challenge. So it's, it's easy to have. Meanwhile, I asked him, I have some questions. Is it okay to ask you? So I asked him, how come billionaires pay low tax, tax in US? So uh, is this reality or fabricated? So, and uh, so does your tax regime so generous? And uh, with this, how without the taxpayers' money, your government is still a uh, superpower. So the, when I was just asking these questions, his turn was to us uh, address the keynote address was arrived in and Fortunately, he escaped and I missed to listen his answer. But on return in the same flight with Gita, she was no, she had her nostalgic memories of Kerala chips and Kora Puttu. So still I'm mulling over this question of how superpowers are running without taxpayers' money. Maybe a good research topic, isn't it? Thanks, uh, Natalie, for giving me this opportunity. Thank you. Thank you, Vijay Sisu. It was a wonderful uh, talk day and other experience we have had. Yeah. Next speaker is Toastmaster Raghu, Raghubai. Toastmaster Raghubai, how would you relate this image? Any wonderful experience that you have had?
Hello. Yeah. Yeah, everybody. Uh, it's a nostalgic memory. Uh, when I was a child, my my brother, when he was doing his uh, engineering in uh, in a regional engineering college in Odisha, first thing he learned about uh, uh, about uh, uh, preparing a radio or uh, uh, constructing a radio. And uh, I was I was uh, somewhere around uh, fourth standard. And uh, he came with uh, this radio and he showed it to me. This I made it for you. And I am, it is still with me, <clears throat> uh, uh, with me I, it is, as, a, as a gift, as a position, I, it is still working. And uh, I still remember the songs of Binaka, uh, Binaka, <clears throat> Binaka, uh, Binaka Mala. <clears throat> and uh, and whenever I, I I I see that radio, it takes me to those days where hmm, the childhood memories are so so honest, so beautiful. Without anything, uh, there is no no toxicity involved in that. And uh, I always remember that the songs, the the affection, the uh, the togetherness that I feel by using that radio. Whenever we switch on that radio, my sisters, even at times my mother used to come and sit and listen to that radio. I was talking something around uh, 80s, uh, uh, 79, 80s. And uh, yeah, you by, by, by showing this story, you made me nostalgic. Uh, probably I'm, right now I'm, I'm not able to think much. I'm just uh, gone back to nearly 30, 40 years back and uh, Thank you, Dinagar. Thank you. Over Thank you, you. Raghu, uh, for presenting that nostalgic story. Yeah, sorry to call you. Like, yeah, uh, yeah. And being an accountant, I really into this. Sorry about it. Yeah. Uh, well, we'll move on to the next speaker. Yes, Dr. T.K. Sundaram. This image is for you. Are you sorry about that? Okay, uh, we'll move on to uh, guest Ilay Raja. Guest Ilay Raja. Yeah, uh, okay. All right. Sir. This is actually one of the, uh, another uh, possession which I have, which is actually looks like a calculator at the time when 1969, it was actually uh, in Vogue. This calculator actually can add only. So at the time, we did not have even the, uh, calculators of the, uh, nowadays what we are doing. Actually, even the big calculations, we just punched the numbers and then rotated it and it actually added up. And through, through the adding and uh, deduction only, we used to calculate large number of figures. And this is actually one which remembers which I had in uh, the PhD College of uh, Technology. Of course, it looks like a typewriter, but it can be a calculator also. That's what I find it. Okay. But this, uh, if it is actually only a uh, typewriter, uh, like we have to type the numbers and add up and all those things. The old typewriter model calculator. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, it's it's actually a, a typewriter. Uh, that's fine. I, I think it, it was kind of a tall tale. Like we talked about two different uh, yeah. elements. I think yeah, you brought in the elements from two different types. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Thank so, okay. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. We'll move on to another guest. Guest Sivamani. Okay, uh, we'll move on to Postmaster Suti. Postmaster Suti, what there? Postmaster Aishwarya Lakshmi. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, please. Yeah. Thank you. What is your uh, most beloved childhood memory? Yeah. Thank you for giving me this topic. Uh, uh, so my most beloved childhood memory is uh, is. Um, uh, we went on a trip to Manjolai uh, when I was uh, 
three, I mean, uh, I mean, when I was 13 years old, uh, at that time, uh, you know, I, there uh, we saw so many uh, those tea estates. Then uh, uh, we ho- we then the fire camps, and we uh, ho- hold hold. Uh, I mean, we stayed there for uh, three nights. Enjoyed a lot with my family, my grandma, grandfa, grandpa. Then with my mom, dad. We uh, it was a very nice, uh, you know, experience. Uh, then in that uh, manjole we played uh, uh, carrom uh, then uh, hide and seek all uh, we enjoyed a lot and and now till now you know that particular moment is uh, still in my mind and we enjoyed a lot that uh, even uh, to, uh, today my mom uh, my, my and my dad they used to tell us uh, i mean they used to recall these memories uh to me and uh, you know we enjoyed a lot there and it was a very good uh, experience uh, uh, when i s- saw all those pictures it reminds me those uh, real uh, moments and uh, you know those goosebumps everything uh, will ha- happen uh, yeah it it was a good uh, lovable memory you, my childhood memory uh, uh toastmaster nakaran over to you thank you toastmaster for listening thank you for giving us an uh, insights on your childhood memories We move on to the last speaker, uh, Toastmaster Mohana Sundaram. What is the most defining moment of your life so far, Toastmaster Mohana Sundaram? Most life defining moment. You are there. Um, thank you, Table Topic Master. Back to 2018, and uh, I never dreamed of going anywhere and uh, apart from my home and uh, jobs. And so it was my friend Tom. Uh, who asked me to come to a trip and uh, it will definitely change your mind and uh, and and everything so it was a trip and uh, to air car and uh, so we travel on the night and uh, and and most of our friends have never never gone for a uh, we all, most of our friends and uh, are enjoyed that uh, trip on, on the way to air car and uh, so we reached uh, uh, our home at uh, at 8 am uh, on the mornings and uh, and had a few sleep on the bed and uh, so we started uh, traveling around the air car and so it was a falls and, and we enjoyed uh, we enjoyed uh, and uh, we enjoyed the fire camp and uh, and the grilled chicken and under the under the winters and uh, or to toast master today or to table topic master thank you toast master monosan thank you for bringing us about the wonderful memories uh, that you had uh, in uh, yet card yeah thank you uh timer could you call out uh, the qualified uh, table topic uh, speakers yeah sure i will share my everyone qualified okay okay all right thank you timer uh, over to tm guru uh, dtm guru thank you thank you i hope you all enjoy the session thank you all thank you very much uh, table topping master you after uh, the crazy tall tale session uh, this table topic session somehow turned out to be more philosophical and uh, <laughs> very people bringing out from their uh, messages from uh, deep from inside of their hearts it was a, a, a really a, a very good contrast uh, to the other fun session we had thank you very much let us give a big hand to table topic master and all the table topic speakers that presented the today's session well we had the tall tales and the table topics how tall were the tales how good was the table and the topics to give us a feedback on that let us invite postmaster jagan the general evaluator and his team so we are more more used to postmaster jagan's realistic evaluations from heart listening to people and giving his speeches honest speeches i don't think he never ever builds any tall tales for cheating us and i also believe today's evaluations will also be same honest and truthful to the speakers and not tall tales all tutors must say thank you guru so first we will go to the tag reports now the want of time i would like to call dtm sampath first 
before the timer and the our counter reports dtm sampath could you give out here sorry to uh, sorry to interrupt i believe uh, we did not finish uh, voting for table topics do you think that should be done earlier sharnya can yes. take part Sure. Let me launch the vote for table. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
thanks uh, toastmaster jagan so uh, it was uh, i was a bit attentive because uh, the table uh, tall tall tellers uh, are uh, uh, quite experienced and dtm so i was very attentive and uh, i found uh, uh, two speeches uh, one from sankar govindraj and uh, toastmaster priya darshini velur the perfect speak without any pause or uh, any repetition or uh, any uh, <clears throat> filler words uh, coming to uh, the toastmaster uh, ranga uh, he has used lucky twice and uh, you know once uh, and venkatesh toastmaster venkatesan uh, uh, long pass twice without he used twice <clears throat> and uh, used once Toastmaster uh, Sundarishan, uh, he used you know once, and uh, DTM Sunil Jos, I will, he used twice, and gradually he used twice. So he used once, and filler words uh, twice. Priya Darshan, as I mentioned, the perfect speech. DTM Thomas, Thomas Abraham, every he used twice, and... Uh, filler words thrice the he used thrice the toastmaster ragunath nair long pass a long pass once a uh, four times and um three times coming to table topic toastmaster sarvanan um, he used uh, because because twice and uh, uh, filler words five times toastmaster aswin they they used twice and two, two, two times and uh, filler words uh, are four times and um two times toastmaster atisha there was a long pass and uh, are three times and um once guest vg and two times so three times you know five times are three times guest tk sundaram used of uh, five times toastmaster aishwarya i mean he used twice we we he used many times and uh, you know he used uh, sorry he used once and a uh, uh, six times and um once toastmaster mohan sundaram long pass three times we enjoyed used thrice and he used quite a number of times and a uh, five times over to you toastmaster jagan thank you ragu today i've realized when i use very nice instead of we when i put w it means the report is very 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 nice so our counter's report thank you so much now coming back to the entire meeting what went well today as i first starting with the sergeant adams we started exactly on time and of course the area of improvement i'll come back the sazana we started exactly on time the golden gavel uh, very nice uh, uh, kudos to the president to mention the golden gavel and to the members to be conscious of the fact that, that there is a, some name printed and to show because it brings the unity in a club very well done kudos to the president as well as the members for example guru mentioned sunil mentioned it and uh, tag intros were brief uh on top on top of that uh, i would uh, request uh, everybody to give a hands uh, a, a round of applause for guru the reason being uh, now if you remember there was a guest who wanted to participate which means the interest in creating the, the creating an interest uh, it, it is with guru it is with the tall tail master and not only that saravan was in the hang up he wanted to talk i want to talk table topics i will uh, table topics has to be tall tail so kudos to guru a wonderfully uh, conducted because he used the, the he gave us the privilege of being a judge he gave us he mentioned the rules and to to give a fair judgment to all of us right to to the to the contestants who have uh, who have prepared this it's not simple to prepare a 3 to 5 minute speech and to prepare that and deliver it in front of us and kudos to guru again to having an informal contest and this is not a formal contest if it were to be a formal contest it would have been very difficult to uh, to put this inside a meeting to have a table topic session to have a presidency it would be very difficult so in that case he had an informal contest and kudos to him on that a 30 seconds in between each contestant and in the agenda kudos to the vpa to have had a buffer if you see the agenda there, there is a buffer between two contestants two minutes of a buffer and uh, 
table topics uh, um, uh, table topics was were brief uh, given that we have had a le- limited number of time he very well adjusted and we, he finished the table topic just one minute 1642 it should have completed he completed 1643 kudos to uh, the table topics master now what could we have done well in accordance with the again tag reports uh, very well presented by both uh, the timer our counter and the grammarian grammarian even mentioned the word of the day and uh, how many people used it and on top of that good usages in accordance with what we could have done well now first thing of course as guru itself guru himself mentioned the timer could have been uh, previously guided now that uh, one thing that we could have worked on because we lost 6 minutes in that cumulatively we lost 6 minutes in that voting again we could have uh, before hand we could have decided how we want to vote so that we would be, because we lost 2 minutes in that as well again we could have done av as well as uh, av check as well as ask the contestant to pin the timer because although uh, as i was briefed by guru that we had already done an av contestants have this feeling uh, am i being heard am i being watched so they all, all of them most of them asked is my audio is, is my audio audible is my video visible so we could have asked the default thing before the contestant is please say something this way audio is video is clear and p- please pin the timer we could have had the default one uh, one thing to the host that i would suggest we could mute everyone else that there is a sound when the table topics master iterates a topic he or she could go on mute as soon as they iterated the topic so because there is a sound which could be a, d- a difficulty which could be a hindrance to the uh, speaker uh, the final thing that i wanted to mention is that uh, whenever that there is someone speaking uh, we could refrain from intervening we could show up our hands and then we could intervene because it it it, it is a domino effect people will start doing once one person does people will start going on doing it and it would become a difficult for the person like an mc or a ge right me like now to coordinate the session so we could stop intervening raise our hands and then politely mention what we want to mention so overall if i were to rank this meeting and i'm almost on time 3 and off over 5 or 375 3.75 over 5 over to the toast master of the day and the tall tale master guru thank you very much and evaluator for your detailed uh, uh, ses- detailed evaluation by your team and of course special uh, appreciation to toast master kartik and he has taken pains to move his place because of the issues uh, in his home to make sure that his role is performed at its best thank you very much for you and your team for your crisp and clear evaluation as you know today being a tall tale e one day we did not we do not have speech evaluation well i hope you all enjoyed the tall tales given by our tall speakers and this is how we create difference in our regular meetings and make them special meetings like this to keep these memories just lingering around us for forever thank you very much for this opportunity i hope you all enjoyed i am handing over the session back to the presiding officer or to the master thank you so much uh, guru uh, as jagan mentioned in the ge the way the tall tale was done and the preparation was done he was even able to make me contest in the tall tale that's something which i really uh, thank guru for that for that interesting introduction and that the way you bought in that whole preparation for last two weeks and had that session everything Uh, something which each mem each member even new and old can learn how you prepare and still we had one or two small uh, things which uh, ge has suggested that is something where we learned that's such a wonderful session thank you guru it was really, really i really enjoyed as a as a member i really enjoyed and uh, let's give him a big round of applause please now oh, i should not be uh, the one to announce the uh, winner because you have done such a such a fabulous thing and i know that you have done uh, think i leave the privilege to announce the tall tale uh, sequels to our tall tale master guru thank you very much presiding officer yeah i, I really enjoyed this whole whole past two weeks in fact this tall tale was supposed to have happened uh, i think four weeks ago 
There were various reasons because of which we are moving this week after week after week, good reasons and not so good reasons. Somehow we, we really made it. I thanks, thank the Exicom for taking this grand initiative to create that small difference in our weekly meetings and excite our members. I really hope the members enjoy. Coming back to the suspense of the day, before that, uh, Give me a minute. So we're also supposed to announce the winner of table topics. May I take the- program? Yes, please. Yes, yes, yeah. We'll go ahead with announcing the winner of table topics. The one person who just combined his life with a small audio cassette. It was Toastmaster Sarvanan, who is the winner of table topics. Now moving on, are you able to see me and my screen? Yes. And we also have the voting for tag players. Uh, Actually, we had decided to uh, hold it, uh, Sharanya. You were not there when we took that decision. Being an event day, we just thought we will uh, vote only for the speakers. And speakers. Yeah. Thank you very much, anyway, for recording it, Sharanya. <clears throat> and thanks for creating that innovative way and adjusting in the last minute uh, the polling sheet to match the first place, second place. Thanks very much, uh, Sharanya. Now I move on to announce the third place winner of today's table topic session is director snor toastmaster shankar let's give him a big hand the second place goes to the royal king of Trovancourt, toastmaster sunil jos and his school time love sorry i don't want to mention the name and The winner is the space traveler, Toastmaster Priyadarshini Bailur for having completed the space journey along with her friend, Zik, sorry, Chandru. Congratulations to the winner and real appreciations on behalf of Medley to all the participants. And thank you very much, Exicom, for this opportunity given to me. Over to you, President Officer. Thank you so much, uh, Guru. It was such a wonderful session. Congratulations, Priya and uh, Sharon for being the winner. Uh, one more small thing which I wanted to mention, uh, bring to notice is we have a gavel club under Medley. And fortunately, I've been attending in last two because my daughter started attending. What a wonderful session. Uh, my request would be uh, like, uh, as a member of Medley, we should go attend one or two sessions because there are a lot of things to learn. How confidently they do the address, how they move things, the speeches, such a fabulous Sunil, uh, you, you and... Uh, Satish, Satish. Satish, correct. Doing a wonderful job. It's really, really... Uh, I've been noticing that for the last two years. Two, two weeks. Such a fabulous session. And there's a lot to learn because they don't have that inhibitions as such, the kids. Of course, some of them have and some of them do. But the way they speak and the uh, way they attend the table topic, the way they do the prepared speeches, the president's address, I mean, it was all such a wonderful session. I request each of the member, I think we could and give the, uh, when the meeting is happening uh, to the, uh, to the medley club group so that as a member, we could attend, uh, give them uh, and go there and attend and be part of that uh, gal group. Such a good initiative. So thank you so much for that. Thank you. Now, um, once since the announced winning, uh, the winners have been already announced. Uh, next week, we will have a business session, a uh, detailed business session where we will have uh, the finance and things like that announced being end of the this term uh, and i'm really proud that i'm holding this golden gavel uh, an achievement of two terms of all the medley members i really wanted to congratulate one more time to the, for this and before i strike i wanted the guest uh, to give their feedback uh, dr sundar sundram uh, can i request you yeah. Uh, I'm a old member of uh, Medley. I left about five years back and I have come back. Welcome back, sir. Actually, uh, anyway, I enjoyed uh, this session. Very nice. 
after a long time i carried it very nicely and of course i was a member of actually mumbai tours master club when i was in mumbai uh, for the past 5 years but now i have retired and i have come back here to chennai so okay. now actually i would like to join this uh, medley once again and it is okay. a wonderful club and i enjoyed all of uh, all the time i did actually the old uh, the gold actually uh, medley gold now i think that uh, things have changed everything now we have to restart if at all we have to go treat it at all but it's okay it's all right but i would like to join now here perfect like welcome to, uh, to this uh, place and of course i know my uh, mr guru and uh, i know uh, sunil uh, sunil and uh, mr mohan and all uh, sunil uh, thank you very much actually uh, last time when i met you about five year when i left i told you you should come to my place but that has never happened but now you should happen i am in perungudi and uh, near apollo hospital uh, uh, welcome thank you very much thank you sir thank welcome you very much thank yeah, you welcome. mohan sir bmw do you remember where is bmw <laughs> mr mohan yeah he he is uh, uh, he said to come back um anyway we are don't have a, a, a in person meeting so he'll be back he comes in between sunil you have you are same uh, as i saw you five years back except you have become more bald that's all <laughs> thank you now <laughs> thank you <laughs> wish you all the best yeah thank you sundar sundar yeah yeah Uh, to um, guest Viji, Vijay Lakshmi, uh, would you like to share how your experience was on the Toll Tale and the, the whole meeting? Yeah, sure, sir. Uh, actually, as I told in my uh, earlier uh, meetings, also this purpose of me joining is from I want my niece to join this club for uh, you know improving her communication. Uh, so I was asked to accompany her for a few weeks. so coming to the feedback i have uh, experienced was master even before uh, one good thing is that <clears throat> there are many roles to play and not only the communication here this opens up for more of leadership uh, skills and uh, there are a lot more avenues uh, to develop uh, personality development uh, about the tall tales right as rightly said that many of us are uh, you know Uh, we don't have the experience of telling tall tales even in the reality or we uh, for me the va- one of my values is talking the being honest and talking the truth so telling tall tales is very very tough so uh, yeah how to do it effortlessly is something to learn here but not in the negative terms i would say yeah thank you but it's a nice experience thank you thank you vijay uh vijay lakshmi uh Shiva Mani, uh, you are there. Would you like to unmute and speak a few words? I think he has left. Okay, now let's close the meeting number six to nine with this imagine, not not imaginary, with the sound of this golden gavel uh, that we have gained from last one year. Let me close the meeting number six to nine and open it for the chat.